This is Gus Summers, and you're watching In Show Celebrities. This is the time I take every Monday to talk about some of my favorite films and actors. This week, we have another grand star of Hollywood, Mr. Jean Reno. This fantastic actor would decide early on that acting would be his lifelong pursuit. After his mandatory military service in France, he burst on the scenes in the late 1970s and did all sorts of uh, small and large parts in films. And he would become known then as he is today for his dramatic ability, his comedic timing, and of course, his action prowess. And he would soon become friends with someone who would be a lifelong collaborator in many of his films, French director Luc Besson. And together they would give us some of Jean Reno's best films. Well, first up is uh, one of those collaborations that as soon as you hear the title, you think fantastic story fantastic acting by both the lead actors and the supporting cast. The film, The Professional. He plays uh, Leon, a professional hitman with a heart of gold. You know, I always thought of him as a, as a type of savant. He only cares about his work and a plant <laughs> that he that he takes care of uh, endlessly you know sprays uh, sprays its leaves wipes it down puts it out in the out in the sun <laughs> you know you you think you know what's wrong with him but if you think of him as a as a type of savant you you kind of understand his character well he's always hired out by a local businessman that handles all his all the all the business uh tony uh, Tony is portrayed by another uh, great Hollywood actor, Danny Aiello. So, so Danny Aiello you know, gives him the work, he goes out and uh, does the job, and that's basically his life. He goes home, does the work, come back, so on and so forth. Well, he lives, uh, they live in New York, and he lives in an apartment, uh, apartment complex, right next door to a family. Uh, it, it's a father, mother, uh, teen daughter, preteen daughter, and a little boy, a little son, about four years old. The father, uh, he, what, he, what he does, he, he's, uh, his house is like a, a, a stash location for drugs. So he holds the uh, drugs for dealers. He doesn't sell, he just holds it for them for a while. Well, the, uh, the, the preteen little girl who becomes the focus of, our, of the story later on is basically the the punching bag of the family. The father beats her, the older daughter just, you know, beats her as well, belittles her, and she's the one who takes care of her little brother, um, protects him from all the garbage. The little girl, her name's Matilda. Another wonderful actress who bec will become, again, a well-established uh, talent in Hollywood, Miss Natalie Portman. Uh, she does a, such a wonderful job of portraying, uh, you know, this abused little girl, you know, physically and emotionally. And you just, you know, your heart just reaches out for her. And same thing with uh, Jean Reno's character, Leon. When he sees her, he, he always he kind of looks at her, feels sorry for her. She's always trying to, you know, engage him in conversation. And he stops and he talks to her because he sees that she has like a black eye or bloody nose where you know her father hits her and such and you know he he tries to keep his distance because you know he's a hitman doesn't want you know to get involved but you know she's a hurt little girl and shows his kindness well uh, one day these bunch of men are talking to her dad about some missing drugs you know we gave you this much now there's only this much where is it? and he says i don't know i i i don't I, I don't have it you this is all you guys gave me and one of the guys says well we got to tell the main guy and you know if you uh if you're lying he can figure it out well the main guy <laughs> i think again another one of hollywood's best uh I love how he portrays this psychotic, drug-addicted character. He plays Stansfield. 
it's the great Gary Oldman. <laughs> I love how he portrays this guy. You know, you see him uh, always taking drugs and how he takes this drug and, you know, he kind of twitches and it's just... Uh, uh, he relaxes himself and you think he's going to burst and he does it. But he does such a great job that when he does go crazy, it's like, wow, you know, great Gary Oldman stuff. It's a class just watching him. You know, acting class just watching his... Uh, his performance in this movie. Well, Gary Oldman tells the father, look, you have to tomorrow to, to tell us what happened and find whatever's missing. Otherwise, bad news for you. They leave. Uh, the next day, uh, Matilda, Melanie Portman, is uh, sitting, on the, sitting on the stairs. Jean Reno comes. They're kind of talking. And she asks, you know, uh, he always buys milk. She says, can I go get milk for you? And he's all, Sure, go ahead. So she runs this errand. While she's out running the errand, here comes Gary Ullman and these bunch of guys. They break down the door and start shooting uh, everybody. Um, she, uh, he, he shoots the daughter. He shoots the wife. Uh, one of the guys accidentally kills the little boy. And then he kills the father. And they said, you know, find the drugs. Where is it? So they find the missing drugs. Well, meanwhile... Uh, when Matilda's running the errand, she comes upstairs and sees what's happening. So she passes her apartment and heads towards Gene Reno's apartment because he lives, you know, down the hall. And one of the guys is uh, watching the door and uh, is, is looking at her like, you know, what's she doing? Who's this little girl? And she's knocking on the door with Gene Reno. She's you know, please, you know, saying quietly to herself, please. Please open the door. And she's crying. Please open the door. And meanwhile, Jean Reno's looking uh, out the pico, not wanting to get involved. And she's just crying and crying. You know, great scene because you can feel the tension. You see the, the, the guy at the door looking down. And you see Matilda like, please open the door. And it's like, you can go either way. And what I love about it is that you see the camera's facing her. You see her face is in darkness. And then it's suddenly the whole place lights up. It's because Jean Reno opened the door. And it was the sunlight coming through his apartment into the dark hallway. You know, great scene. He lets her in, you know, closes the door. <laughs> and from there, basically, you know, his life has changed forever. Because, you know, she tells him, uh, he wants to get rid of her. He says, you can't get rid of me because I'll die out there. You know, there's, I have no one. She convinces him to, to keep her. She learns that he's a hitman. She wants him to uh, train her as a hitman. Wants him to go kill Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman is trying to conduct an investigation, hide what really happened. People are, you know, questioning him. Uh, you see later that uh, Matilda tries to kill him. Jean Reno, you know, gets involved. Now, Jean Reno, uh, Gary Oldman knows about Matilda, is learning about Jean Reno. <laughs> so you have this, you have, you know, all these crazy loose ends starting to converge together. And, uh, of course, you know, it's going to lead to the ultimate end, uh, end to when they all, you know, face each other. You know, with the ultimate conclusion. But great film, great acting. You know, like I said, everyone at top form, even Natalie Portman at that age, you know, did such a great job, you know, as this uh, little girl. And, you know, again, Jean Reno's portrayal of this of this character, like I told you, this this hitman with a heart of gold, with this, with this type of savant type, you know, personality, just fantastic. I mean, you just look at it, it's like, wow. The Craft at its best. Great performance uh, by him and everybody. Great film, The Professional. Well, uh, one other movie. It's another collaboration uh, between Jean Reno and Luc Besson. Uh, another, you know, action film that, that starts in France and then goes all the way to uh, Japan. The movie, Wasabi. He plays uh, Hubert, a French detective who basically just causes havoc wherever he goes you know the, the film if you look at it it's a little over the top uh but you know but it, it's fine you know it's it, it jean reno with this with this uh like a superhuman strength you know he punches guys they go flying like you know like 20 feet so it's like i said it's a little over the top but you know it, it's still a good a, a good action film and a good story you know he he ends up uh, hurting the police chief's son, and they end up uh, putting him on suspension. And while he's suspended, he gets a call 
that an old love of his that he never got over you know you, you in the beginning of the film they, they always kind of talk about uh, this love that he had uh, 19 years earlier uh, he gets a call that she had passed away and they want him to go to Japan to attend the funeral and uh, talk to the attorney because she left some things she she put him in her will and so he he reluctantly goes and finds out that Indeed, his old love from 19 years earlier left him all sorts of, you know, just little knickknacks in her will, but sprung on him that they have a daughter. <laughs> and so now, you know, suddenly he's a father, you know, he's dealing with these emotions. His old love has, has died, and he's dealing with that, but now she wanted him to take care of the daughter, until she's of age because she left her some money and wants to be sure that you know she's taken care of until she's until she's basically you know grown a legally um, a legal adult well Jean Reno doesn't want the daughter to know that uh, he's her father because he thinks she might have resentment towards him or towards her father for not being there for the last 20 years and so, you know, when he sees her, you know, she's this crazy, you know, teenager, crazy hair, crazy outfit. And it's just like, oh, his daughter, wonderful uh, Japanese actress. Uh, she plays Yumi. Uh, it's uh, Ryoko Hirosu. And like I said, she is, you know, what you think of a, a crazy, uh, you know, teenage daughter, you know, is just having fun and living life. And he tells her that, you know, he's uh, just a friend of his mother that. Uh, he's there to take care of her for the next couple days until she's a legal adult and then, you know, he'll be on his way. So, meanwhile, you know, he's getting to know her, she's getting to know him, and asking her questions about, you know, his old flame. He says, well, she was like this, she would take care of me, she would go off and do business, and she would come back. She had no idea what was, uh, what was happening. So, uh, he finds out, in the midst of all this, that... Uh, he wants to give the, the daughter some money. He goes, you have a bank account? She goes, yes, my mom set one up for me. Here, let, let's go to the bank and I'll deposit some money because I, I want to take care of you like your mom did. But not telling her it's her father. So he goes there and realizes that she has like $200 million in her, in her bank account. He's all, you know, trying, uh, what? And she didn't know. That's the money she will get in a couple of days. So he's trying to figure out, you know, where did this money come from? Well... While attending, on Japan they attend her funeral, and he sees that she has this, this, uh, this substance on her, and and he takes it and has it analyzed. Well, he sent it to a friend of his, who's who was an old partner of his back in the day. His name's Momo, uh, Michel uh, Moulier, and he says his friend tells him it's cyanide. There's uh, it's cyanide. You know she was murdered. She just didn't die of natural causes, and so now he. Is starting to conduct an investigation into who murdered her. He finds out that the money was Yakuza money. So he's thinking that the Yakuza had her killed for the money. And meanwhile, while he's you know trying to be friends with his daughter, he realizes people's following him. He realizes that it's the Yakuza. <laughs> so now he's conducting a murder investigation, running from the Yakuza, and trying to, you know, have a relationship with his daughter. <laughs> So, you know, all kinds of stuff going on. I mean, he fights the Yakuza. There's the great scene in the, in the, uh, uh, in a golf course. But again, you know, it's, it's a little over the top, but I know you'll like it. You know, great movie. But, you know, like I always say, just the surface of all the great films that Jean Reno has done. Fantastic actor. I know he's still going to be producing some great films. Well, that's what I got for you, uh, today. You know, this is Gus Summers, and you've been watching In-Show Celebrities. This is the time I take every Monday to talk about some of my favorite films and actors. And remember, don't forget to visit us every Thursday from 1 to 2 p.m. at theinshow.com, where I host The In-Show. And that's where I bring on all sorts of celebrities and guests just to talk about you know, whatever it is that they're doing. Of course, visit us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Flickr, all those great social media sites. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, Gus has left the building.